uh, we can select certain operator. Well, for all data, we can select operators uh, from the attributes to operator to values. And the conditions are going to show up in here. And we'll select what kind of data we want to grab. And we'll say for this, um, because paint data is showing up between 0 and 1 on the y and x axis. So we'll come back here to select data. And we will take values that are less than 0 0.5 and add to the condition. So that's 441 data entries, data out, 441 examples out of the total 845. Now one of the interesting things you can do with the operator is you can negate it. So in this case, we're going to select all x values that are um, less than 0.5, but negated, so it takes the uh, it takes every data every data point that is not defined by this condition. So we'll add that, and we get 404, and we can just do a quick check that this adds up to 845, which is the same amount of data that we have coming in. Uh, so then we can commit this data. And right now we have no data out because I have I don't have any of these selected. We can commit. Um, actually, we'll get rid of that. And now we have 441 data out examples, uh, which we, which we can commit. And then you can take this to some, you know, visualization. Um, and we'll bring in and attribute statistics here. Then we can look at information here, new information. Uh, we've got 441 total values, which is what the data out here said that we had. So that's a good thing that we're matching up there. <clears throat> and then, um, all right, so now that we went over a little bit of the select data widget, I'm going to go ahead and set up the orange example for that and they bring in a file and then we'll have um, select data and they actually use attribute statistics for the example which is handy so we're going to go from attribute statistics of the total data set we're going to select data and go to some more attribute statistics. But this time, instead of using the zoo tab or the paint data, we're going to use the import 85 tab. And this data set will reload it. Um, the imports data tab shows a bunch of information on imported cars. So to get, to get an idea of what we have, uh, we'll open up the attribute statistics widget. And we can look at the make of cars in the ascending order but let's make it descending. All right, so you can see that the most entries we have are for Toyota cars, and it goes down the line. Uh, you can look at the length of the car, the curb weight, the engine type, uh, fuel type. We'll go back to uh, make, just for something that most people can easily relate to. And then we'll go to select data. And this time, um, we'll try selecting some data that's discrete out of this make. So we will remove these conditions here. All right, so the make equals um, BMW. We're, we're going to uncheck that negate box there and add it. So we have eight BMWs. And if you come over here to the total data set, we have BMWs equal to eight. Um, so then that matches and we can then compare we'll commit that and close it out open this up compare it to the original and what we can compare here now is the let's say the price of the BMW's only a total values to the price of the other cars. So it looks like this has a five 
thousand minimum. This has about a sixteen and a half thousand minimum. This goes up to about forty five and a half thousand. This goes up to about forty one thousand. So um, the mean here is about thirteen versus twenty six. So the mean price of the BMW is about double the mean price of the total data set. And then you can <clears throat> look at miles per gallon or horsepower and we'll go to horsepower. And it looks like the average horsepower is also uh, much greater than the average horsepower of the total data set. We'll keep that up and close that. Then we'll go back to the select data. And we'll just select um, uh, something else here. We'll use an OR condition. So then what we're going to be doing is selecting data that meets this criteria or this other criteria. So we're going to select make in. And if we do equals, we can only select one value. But if we select uh, make in as an operator, we can select multiple values here. Uh, and then the is defined operator just means does our data set have a value for make? Every car here has a value uh, attributed to the make information. So we have 205 total examples and all of them have a make defined. So we'll remove that. Um, we'll say make equals dodge. Add that in. Okay, so we have eight cars that equal BMW and nine that equal Dodge. So we have 17 examples of data out. We'll commit that and then we can again compare the attribute statistics. Um, look at the, let's see, uh, why don't we look at number of doors just for some easy to see discrete data. All right, so we'll make these equal to each other. Um, show, we'll sh show them in the same scale, just to make it easier. All right, so out of the 16 data points that we have selected, uh, seven of them have two doors and nine of them have four doors. And out of the total cars, we have 89 with two doors and 114 with four. But surprisingly, um, the percentages are about equal. And I think that just happened by chance. Um, but you know, you can uh, play around with, with these widgets and figure out what it is you're trying to select from them um, in terms of select data. Just go ahead and use your operator to get the correct values and and the conditions will determine what it is that you're actually selecting for um, in your in your data out. So I hope this has been a helpful tutorial here, and um, you know I wish uh, everyone luck as they are using Orange.